How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God YouTube channel. I hope you all enjoy the holidays and a happy new year to all of you. So recently a fossil of a 180 million year old ichthyosaur, which literally means fish lizard, were discovered that likely had a blubber, smooth skin, counter shading and were warm blooded. That's interesting and will certainly prompt scientists to take another look at this fascinating creature. But the real story here is one you have to read between the lines to get. Johan Lindgren, the lead researcher on this study published in Nature, states of the find, This animal's preservation is unusual, especially for a marine environment. This specimen has given us more evidence that these tissues and molecules can preserve for extremely long periods and that soft tissue analysis can shed light on evolutionary patterns, relationships and how ancient animals functioned in their environment. If you're not paying attention, you'll probably miss Lindgren's reference to soft tissue analysis. Looking back at the original journal paper, we read, our analysis recovered still flexible remnants of the original scaleless skin, which comprises morphologically distinct epidermal and dermal layers. This supposedly 180 million year old fossil contains skin that was still flexible. Uh, we have analyzed the soft tissues in this specimen and uh, using state-of-the-art techniques and found uh, a whole bunch of things including you know, still soft uh, remains of the skin and cells, cellular organelles, and even uh, traces of the original uh, biomolecular makeup. This adds to the growing list of soft tissue finds in supposedly very old fossils. And yet, the researchers just gloss over the difficulty of explaining how soft tissue can last for tens of millions of years. We can observe in a lab that soft tissue breaks down quite quickly. It simply can't last millions of years, even under ideal conditions, let alone the inconsistent conditions found in nature. This ichthyosaur wasn't buried 180 million years ago. It was buried during the global flood of Noah's day about 4,300 years ago. The remarkable preservation isn't difficult to explain from a biblical worldview. This creature was catastrophically and rapidly buried before scavengers, oxygen and microbes could break down the remains. What we see in creation confirms what we read in God's word. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.